the shocking reason Elon Musk and Natasha Bassett split. Back in June, rumors began to fly about Elon Musk dating none other than Australian actress Natasha Bassett. The couple were first spotted exiting a private jet in Los Angeles. Thereafter, there were several rumors of these two seeing each other. However, a few months into the relationship and the pair have called it quits. So, what went wrong between these two? Let's find out in today's video. The first time Elon Musk was spotted with Australian actress Natasha Bassett was way back in February. The two were spotted in Los Angeles the planning his $70 million private jet. The pair were later spotted together by British tabloids which showed them driving off together in a waiting Tesla. Musk had recently separated from his previous girlfriend Grimes after welcoming their second child exa dark Siderio. According to a source close to the pair, Natasha Bassett was aware that Musk had a second child with Grimes. Natasha had no problem with them being lifelong friends or with their commitment to co-parenting their kids together. According to the source, Grimes also knew that Elon was with Natasha and there was no bad blood between any of them. Another source claimed that Musk and Natasha were very close and were spending a lot of time together. The source also revealed that Natasha joined Elon on back and forth work trips to Austin. Now, after only dating for 7 months, it looks like Elon Musk and Natasha Bassett have broken up. But why did these two call it quits all of a sudden? Well, it turns out that Natasha called it quits after she learned that Musk announced twin children with his Neuralink executive, Chiffon Silis. Following this, Musk now has 10 kids with 3 women. According to sources, Natasha pulled the plug on their romantic relationship after his big reveal. But she hopes that they can still be friends. The source said, Natasha has learned so much from Elon Musk and she is grateful for the time that they spent together as it was very special and surreal. The source added that Natasha has decided to focus more on her career which has exploded following the release of Buzz Lerman's Elvis biopic. In the film, Natasha starred as the Kings' high school girlfriend Dixie Locke. After the release of her Elvis biopic in late June, these last few weeks have been a lot of stress on Natasha, the insider said. Acting has always been her dream and it is her first true love. She is now getting the kind of recognitions that she has worked so hard for her whole life and Natasha knows that she must walk these next steps alone. She doesn't have time for outside noise, especially the kind that stemmed from her relationship with Elon. It's a well-known fact that Elon Musk wants to have as many kids as possible. The Tesla billionaire and world's richest man frequently tweets about what he calls population collapse arguing we as a species need to increase our fertility rates to counter aging populations. Musk said, at a conference in May, humankind needs to at least maintain our numbers. We don't necessarily need to grow dramatically, but at least let's not gradually dwindle away until civilization ends with all of us in adult diapers, he added. In an August tweet, Musk sounded the alarm again, saying populations collapse due to low birth rates is a much bigger risk to civilizations than global warming. Musk's recent twins, with Chiffon Zillis, just proved how desperate Musk is to further increase his family tree. The twins that Elon Musk father, with Chiffon Zillis, who happens to be one of his senior employees at his brain chip company, were conceived through in vitro fertilizations or IVF. According to a report, Zillis, 36, has told colleagues that she and the Tesla chief were never had any sexual relationship or involved romantically in any way, according to Reuters. The Canadian-born executive who works as Musk's director of operations and special projects at Neuralink has since told some of her colleagues that she conceived the children with Musk through IVF, according to five people familiar with the situations. Reuters couldn't establish the accuracy of Zillis' account. Zillis, who has worked at Neuralink for five years, gave birth to the twins last November. The company's rules prohibit employees from having personal relationships with anyone that is in a more senior role due to potential conflicts of interest. But Reuters is reporting that the company management accepted Zillis' explanations that her arrangement with Musk was non-romantic in nature. She has thus been permitted to continue in her role as Director of Operations and Special Projects. Sources also told Reuters that Zillis and Musk have continued working together in the months since the birth of the twins. Most recently, Musk dispatched Zillis to meet with Thomas Oxley, the CEO of Neuralink's competitor, Synchron. Musk, Zillis, and Oxley have spoken about Neuralink potentially investing in Synchron, according to Reuters. Zillis and spokespeople for Musk and Neuralink did not respond to requests for comment. Well, that's all for this video. Hope you enjoyed watching this one. Thanks for watching.